make her pay. Uh, we thought you might be able to share some secret knowledge. How about you, Elise? My appetite for your agony is, as an abyss, bottomless. Hello and welcome, or welcome back if you're returning. My name is Burr, and if you are a fan of MMOs, RPGs, obscure video games, video games, art, or music, then you should subscribe because that's what we do here. Also, don't forget to give this video a like because that super helps us out. So tell me, my friends, what strange tides bear you to our home? That is indeed a most dire predicament, but perhaps an opportunity for us to craft yet another profitable arrangement. Very well, I shall introduce you to our leader, Bunchin. <laughs> it will be up to you, however, to present your case. Bunchin. Fair leader Bunchin, the turtle. <laughs> Welcome, guests. Gratitude to you for aiding Soroban in his negotiations. We thank you for your hospitality, honored elder. Pray forgive me my brevity but I wish to discuss an urgent matter. So, you seek to compel our Red Brothers to forego hostilities for a time. That's right. We know your two clans have your differences, but what with you being brothers and all, uh, we thought you might be able to share some secret knowledge or something. Are you sure about that? From far above, you have journeyed here in search of our wisdom. You shall have it. All creation is a tapestry through which the divine is interwoven. Kami are legion and they can be found in the great and the small. Though they come and go as they please, they favor certain vessels. The ancient, the precious, the exquisite. We Korjin covet these vessels, these treasures. We go forth and bring them home to keep them safe and bask in their divinity. They bring prosperity and joy to us and our children. Yet, how are we to seek these treasures above if we made enemies of the Galian Empire, powerful and far-reaching as they are? Wiser to join with them so resolved the Red Kojin. Cautiously and carefully, for the Garleans are blind to the Divine, nor will they suffer their subjects to see. So the Red masquerade as mercenaries who seek money and power and never speak of their faith in the presence of their masters. To honor the Divine, they deny it. A twisted and misguided path. Aye, aye. Kami will not abide such foolishness. This they shall learn to their sorrow. While our red brothers live by the sword, we Blue Kojin uphold the old ways, engaging in trade and valuing peace. Alas, men distinguish not between our clans, and judgment for the doings of the Red falls unjustly upon the Blue. Thus do men grow more and more reluctant to deal with us, denying us our treasures. This cannot continue. On that point, we are in agreement. You are willing to aid our cause, then? There is a way that the Red may be driven to retreat into their shells. But to share with you this knowledge is to reveal secrets of the Divine. Assurances must first be had, trust forged, 
a bargain struck. Oh, there's always something to do with a bargain and trust. And we have to do something first. Why can't people just help us well out? Well said, Elder. <laughs> In great crises is great profit to be had. Uh, these turtles. Delight not overmuch in such things, Sodobon. Now, tell our guests what must be done. As you wish. Well, I've no idea what we've gotten ourselves into, but so far so good, right? All right, well, we're moving forward, so all's well then. Listen well, my friends. We require your assistance with the search for a priceless treasure, the Yasakani no Maga Magatama. This jewel, the most sacred of Kojin relics, was in the possession of Higashi until they decided to present it to the Garleans in a gesture of consolation. The Red would not abide this, and so they plotted to seize the vessel bearing it to their imperial masters. Alas, though they succeeded, in the ensuing chaos, the Mogatoma was lost to the sea. We wish to recover the sacred jewel before our brothers. However, were we to come into conflict with them, it would be problematic. Therefore, we turn to you. So you want us to search the ocean floor for this treasure of yours? I'm not sure how we're supposed to do that without... You know... Ugh, breathing. Breathing's boring. Drowning. Fear not. There is a ritual I can perform to imbue your bodies with a powerful blessing. But first, you must prepare offerings to the sea. I require a twisted ruby coral, several fist-sized sea snail shells, and a freshly harvested yukiyu carapace. That's quite the shopping list. I will see to the shells at least can look for the coral. But would you go and find an unkyu and relieve it of its carapace? At least there's three of us. How splendid they are. The Kami shall be most pleased, I am sure. I got it. I got the ruby coral you wanted. And I see the snail shells. And I, the sea snail shells. Wow, I can't speak. They're about the size of my fist, though I realize now you may have met yours. These shall more than suffice for our purpose. Next, we must make ready to present them to the sea and perform the ritual. Once it has been completed, you will be able to move freely through the depths and find the Yasakani no Mugatama. Out of curiosity, how large is this sacred jewel of yours? Unless it's far too large to be carried by the three of us, how are we supposed to even find it? The ruby sea is not exactly small. <laughs> Surely you realize we have been searching this whole time. The area we wish you to explore is but a small fraction of the ruby sea. Already we have we scoured most of the seabed near and within our territory to no avail. All that remains is a region to the west. The shellless of Suido Satu. Sato can provide you with better guidance than we. You would do well to visit them first. Shellless? You mean the Koja aren't the only ones living under the sea? Of course not. The rain have been here as long as I can remember. Shiosai, the overseer, I believe, can tell you more than when you arrive. But we are getting ahead of ourselves. We have yet to carry out the ritual. Are you ready, my friends, to explore a world unlike any you have ever known? Then let us go to the western part of the village, where the water twists and turns, and where they are complete our preparations for the ritual. I'm kind of excited. This is kind of neat. He dove into the water a moment ago and said to wait here until he returned. It is done. Your offerings have been given to the sea. The ritual can begin at last. Come and stand before me, my friends. Yes, yes. Listen to my words, and let all else wash away. Listen to my words, and feel them flow into your heart. At first a trickle, then a flood. Mm. 
O Kami of the fathomless waters of the fallen, the ascended, the flowing, and the becalmed, caretakers of the shallows and of the depths, receive of us our meager offerings, cleanse these ones of earth and stone, and grant them your blessing, that they might drink deep of the divine. The ritual is complete, my friends. You may now breathe in the depths as you would upon land. Strange. I don't feel any different. Are you sure it worked? Reasonably. The blessing does have its limits, of course. While it will allow you to dwell in the depths, it will not help you traverse them. I can swim well enough. How about you, Alize? Oh, like a fish, in contrast to my doggy paddling brother. Oh, shut! Hey, I'm right there with Alfie. Leave him alone. Somehow, the boy just isn't very buoyant. Hmm, <laughs> skilled or no, your bodies are ill suited to the sea. Your cause demands alacrity, and you shall have it. But first, let us take to the water. And away he goes, precious! She's so funny. She's like, ah, I Incredible. could do it. I could swear I was breathing air. Now I shall summon for you noble steeds of great strength. Of the sea. And so they may. After we've won over the Confederacy, rescued Kosetsu, and liberated your respective homelands. Should you become parted from your steeds, return to me, and I shall call them again. Take care, my friends, and may the Kami speed you on your way. Find that treasure in no time. Come on. Freaking cool. <gasps> So neat. This must be Swedo Sato, the rain village Sorban told us about. Right, then let's see if they can't help us find the Kojin's missing jewel. If this is Swedo Sato, then Shiosai, the overseer, should be around here somewhere. I dare say one of the locals will be able to point us in his direction. Though, now that I look around, I get the distinct impression we are not welcome here. The Aras? They should like me. I'm one of them. So, this is our man. Leave this place and never return. We have no need of wide-eyed wanderers. Sorry, I didn't mean to stare. My name is Lise, and these are my friends, Burr and Alize. We're looking for the overseer of Suido Sato, Shio Sai. That's you, isn't it? The Kojin of the Blue sent you hither, did they? I am no overseer, nor ever would I claim to be one. I am High Priest of Shi Sui of the Violet Tides, Shio Sai. So you are the man we're looking for. Great! We need your help. We're looking for this jewel called the Yasani... Yasakani, no... Stop. I will hear no more. 
We will suffer no outside troubles in our sanctuary, especially those of would-be treasure hunters. Oh my goodness, it's adorable. Chirp, chirp. Quiet, Isobe, but there will be no dango for dinner. <clears throat> I can do not to aid you. I say to you again, leave this place and never return. At the very least, sir, you might con condescend to tell us of your village and of why you are so loath to show us even the most basic courtesy. Sweet Osato is our sanctuary. Under the benevolent leadership of the Ruby Princess, Sovereign of Shisui, we reign and enjoy humble yet fulfilling lives, but it was not always so. Long ago, our forebears were driven from their ancestral lands. Beneath the waters, they sought refuge from the ravages of war, and here they flourished. All that we are, our culture, our traditions, was born of the sea, as was I. Though we have engaged others in diplomacy, it has ever been with the utmost caution. Isolation and independence are essential to preserving our way of life. So it was when Doma fell twenty year, 25 years past. The Ruby Princess, in her wisdom, decreed that we would take no part. As it was, so ever shall it be. Forever and ever apart. Forgive me. I understand now how highly you value your way of life and how you will suffer none to endanger it. You may be assured that we have no desire to do so, and I would hope that we have given you no cause to assume otherwise. You have not, but this changes nothing. Regardless of your intentions, it is not my place to break with tradition. The best tradition. Or tradition my head. Look. I must consider the wishes of all who call Sweet Osato home. For me to defy their will and permit outsiders to remain would be a gross betrayal of my responsibilities. Please do not ask this of me. Thank you for your time, sir. <laughs> Always being hit with no. And so it continues. Another village, another deaf ear. Clearly, Garabanya is not the only place with walls. I'm starting to wonder if this was all a huge mistake. Gosetsu couldn't have known we would take this long. I only hope he's still alive. Meanwhile, in the tavern of Isari. I tire of this filthy tavern, and it's still filthier clientele. This scant reward for your treachery, I. A painted woman of your rich experience deserves a better class of customer. Oh, name calling. Is that what we've been reduced to? Orphan of the Nayuri. Widow of Sashiai. What joy it must have brought you to be revenged upon us all. Not enough. Not nearly enough. My appetite for your agony is as an abyss, bottomless, insatiable. Before you die, you will cry and beg and prostrate yourself upon the earth. You will crawl on your belly through the muck and the piss and debase yourself for my amusement. All of you. Man, this woman is such a nice lady. <laughs> but you think you are made of sterner stuff? Hmm. Rather than have him beat you, mayhap I should have my oath go and fetch your master's head. Oh, poor, poor Lord Kayan. Kami rest his soul. Noble leader of a fallen nation. A fine puppet he made for the Viceroy. For a time. Twenty-five years he was content to serve his masters as a dog. And then everyone had to rise up and get themselves killed. 
tell me. How did it feel to fail him that day? To live with the disgrace of his death? Not that you were a stranger to living with disgrace, of course. In the what was it? 25 years since you were humiliated and tossed into an imperial jail, you had plenty of time to get used to it. Oh yes, I heard the stories. About the samurai who would do anything to return to his master's side, even if it meant pledging his blade to his sworn enemy. They say he walked with death, that he slew a thousand men in the Empire's name. Truly a tale for the poets. I do not deny my sins. But I will not be reproached by the likes of you. Oh, I mean not to reproach you, but to praise you. You're a survivor, Samurai. Just like me. So, let us not dwell on the past, you and I, and instead give thought to the future. To wit, I would ask you again to help me resolve this vexing matter of Dorma's missing heir. Living or dead, it makes no difference, really. But the Garleans are most insistent that we put this problem behind us. And I know you helped him flee. So tell me, what became of Lord Hien? To my dismay, the details escape me at present. Mayhap your dog could jog my memory. Get on with it, and mark me, brute. There is no limit to how far you can fall. Of all the bloody stupid... <laughs> oh! When I get back to Eorzea... I'm gonna find that little shite, and I'm gonna make her pay. We seem to have reached an impasse, and to make matters worse, every solution I can think of will only take more time. I don't suppose you have any ideas, do you, Burr? Ah. Uh, well, we could try... Uh, let's go ask some villager stuff, I think. Right. You are the ones who come from above, yes? If we could have a moment of your time. My apologies. I did not mean to startle you. My name is Ihanami, and this is my wife, Yunagi. Aww. We were wondering, have you news from Doma? If so, we should like to very much to hear it. May I ask why? If you must. Our daughter fought in the rebellion. We have heard not from her since. It would be too much to hope that you know of her, but her name is Yukiri. Oh, Yukiri's parents! <laughs> They're all dramatic. They're like, <gasps> Kami be praised. She lives. She lives. We're looking for her too, actually, but I'm sure she's all right. We had no idea she held from Sweet Osato. How did she come to serve Doma as a shinobi? It all began when she was a little girl. She and another child crept out of the village, having grown curious about the outside world. To Doma they went, where they met a young boy, a proud son of young Xia. His tales of imperial oppression left a lasting impression on her. When she returned, she spoke passionately of the Doman's plight and urged us to take the boy in, but my wife and I would not hear of it. We thought the matter closed, but she never forgot his words. She became convinced that the Garleans would one day come for us, and it was in search of the strength to defend us that she left years later to learn the ways of the Shinobi. When the then Ruby Princess learned of this, she forbade Yukiri's return, lest she bring misfortune to us all. We protested the judgment, but there was not we could do, and so our daughter, who wanted only to keep her people safe. Surely there is something we can do for these people. They who gave her aid and succor would no other would. 
I am but a humble stonemason. But if it is the Yasakani no Bhagavatama you seek, I may yet be of assistance to you. The jewel is known to possess an unusual property. To the naked eye, it is as jade, but when bathed in a particular light, it shimmers with a divine resplendence. I have mined similar materials before. To find them, one must use these lamps. They cast an invisible light under which the stones sparkle. In the deepest depths, they are invaluable. I love lamp. I love lamp. There's a sunken ship to the east. Though the currents may have spirited away her cargo, you should begin your search there. Thank you so much. We will do just that. I hope you find that which you seek. I only wish there were something more we could do to assist you. Know that you will be in my prayers. And when next you see your daughter, pray tell her not a day goes by that her parents and brothers do not think of her. We will, I promise. If this wreck is the self-same vessel of which Sorban spoke, then if the gods are good, the Magatama is nearby. Ready your lamp and keep your eyes open, bro. We're going to need to take this slowly. Move too fast or we risk overlooking something. I swear, looking for a needle and a haystack would be quicker. Go Setsu will have died of old age by the time we finish. You haven't found anything, have you, Burr? Found this guy. This... this is it. The Yasakani no Tamagatama, exactly as Soraban described. <sighs> it would seem that our fortunes have finally changed for the better. Much as I would like to return and thank you, Giddy's parents, for their assistance, time is of the essence. I say we make for Tamimzu at once. Hold on to it for now, Burr. Once we arrive, present it to the Elder, and then we can finally learn how to deal with the Red Kojin. You are returned with the Sakani no Magatama, I trust? Yes. Yes, there's no mistake. Well done. Well done. So, about the Red Kojin. <clears throat> You said there was a way to make them retreat into their shells? Are you ready to tell us now? I did indeed, and yes, I am. For you see, divinity resides not only in material vessels, but individuals. In laying claim to this most sacred of treasures, you have demonstrated an affinity with the divine. To treat with men and women such as you is to invite fortune into our homes. Gladly will we aid your cause. <laughs> All is ready, Soroban. They give them what they require. This is a ceremonial knife of some sort? Before this blade, that which is sealed shall open, the treasure vault of the Kojin on the Isle of Zeki. It is there that our most prized relics, be they of the red or the blue, are kept safe. Fiercely do the red guard it, for its contents are more precious than their lives. Were the vault to be attacked, their response would be necess necessity, but by necessity, be immediate. Kojin would be summoned from walls around to defend their treasures. And were we to sow enough chaos, the Reds in service to the Imperials would have no choice but to answer the call as well, giving the Confederacy the sign they've been waiting for. Without the Kojin, the Imperials don't have nearly enough troops in Azari to hold off the pirates. However, you must understand that the vault is holy ground, home to a thousand kami. Thousand thousand kami. To intrude upon it without paying the proper respect is sacrilege we cannot condone. So, if we were to pay the proper respects, it would be alright? Great! How do we do that again? The Azakani no Magatama is one of three most coveted treasures of the Kojin. The other two lie within the vault. Were you to deliver the jewel unto the others and thereby make them whole, the Kami may forgive your trespass and instead delight in your mischief making. So if I understand you correctly, you want us to take the sacred jewel coveted by your blood brothers and deliver it to their treasure vault. More or less. The Yasakane no Magatama belongs on the Isle of Zeki. So long as it finds its way there, we are satisfied. The Magatama has chosen you to bear it to its brothers. Had it not, you would never have found it, and we would not be having this conversation. <laughs> I shall inform the Confederacy of your plans and bid them make ready to act when the time is right. The Isle of Zeki lies to the west of Suido Sato. Look for a cave beneath the waters. 
May fortune favor you in this and all other endeavors. Right then, I am not normally in the habit of sneaking into heavily guarded treasure vaults, but if this is the only way to convince the Confederacy to act, then so be it. We should be prepared for a fight, the bigger the better. The kind where you'll wish you had seven of your most battle-hearted friends at your side. Hey all so I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. If you liked this video, please like this video because that'll help gather more folks to the video of the channel. We are aiming for 1k, so we're almost there. Also, if you are new and you haven't yet, please subscribe. Uh, we have a Discord link that is very, very fun. That link will be in the description underneath this video. And I also have all my other social media links and stuff that will be under there as well. And also, I do have a Patreon if you're interested. That link is below, and that does help <laughs> get us uh, to support the channel so I can be here and do more stuff with you guys. All right, from uh, all of us to all of you. <laughs> Bye.